Hi, everybody. Happy Friday, September 28th. I've somehow turned my earpiece off. I can't what? hear anything. Are we even on Hello? TV? Hello. can't hear Hello. it. Hello. No, not a thing. All right. Doesn't matter. I don't know what's happening. You don't know. I got this. You got this. You just take the reins. So on, Cruz. on the show today, uh, a couple of things. One, we're going to introduce you to a new bakery that yes. launched. They're online. These fellas, nice Back fellas. Backroads Bakery, located right here in Lexington. Yeah. And we are so excited to share them with you. I was going to say that, yeah. Oh. And also, uh, Josh Sneed, who is a guy that I started out in comedy. We started about the same time. Yeah. I think that's the story. He's going to try to convince you that he's younger than me, but I don't think it's true. Oh, okay. And, um, but he's doing really well. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of that guy. Yeah. And he's very funny, and we'll get to see him in a little bit. Okay, that sounds good. Sounds good. Well, what's going on with you? Well, you know, we've been talking about our wager that we're going to have when yes. uh, Kentucky plays Tennessee. and um, So we had the, the vote on Facebook? Yeah, it was overwhelming. People want you to be Tater Harmon. So if you don't know, let's get you up to speed. Lee and I always make a bet over the Tennessee-Kentucky football game. As you know, I'm from Tennessee. Uh, last year I lost, so I had to have a Kentucky girl license plate in my car for two weeks. Um, this year we've been trying to come up with an even better bet. So yours has been... I have well, to change I, I my name him, for I, a week. I gave the audience a choice, uh, either it's Kiki or Tater. And I have to change my name on air for a week to Officially. that. Officially. Officially, it'll be live with Lee and Tater. So Tater is the official winner on the Facebook page. Yes, live correct. Live with Lee and Tater. Mm -hmm. I am from Tennessee, and one of the roads in the town I grew up in um, was Tater Peeler Road. Oh, really? It was known to be very curvy and hilly, and if you had Taters in the back of your truck, it would peel them there for you. It was so such a jostling ride. What Tater Peeler Road. A quaint place it was to quaint. live. It was mm -hmm. nice. So I'm cool with Tater. Okay, well, you got to be. Because <laughs> I, I think uh, Josh Allen and, and Benny Snell are going to take care of me. Get but just in case done. they don't, down there at Neyland Stadium. I've been thinking. Oh, you've been thinking. I've been. Yes, I think on occasion. Um, so I've been thinking about what Lee will have to do in, as it seems now, the highly unlikely event that Tennessee will beat Kentucky. You've dug your own grave. Lee came up with this idea in the car yesterday, and I don't think he would. I don't think he'd think I'd take him up on it. You're gonna have to carve, not a carve, cut a T into the back of That's your haircut. That's what you because listen, because that'll last a while. All right, but I have already went to the audience, and I said, "What do you guys want? Carve the T, uh, shave the head, or right. buzz cut, right, or dye orange?" Well, you didn't let me finish. You have to do the T. And I get to spray paint your hair orange right here on the show live, <laughs> oh, and both? you have to wear it. So both. both. Okay. So you're going to be orange and with All a right. gorgeous tee right here, a power okay. tee as we call it. Um, so that is the, the official bet. If Kentucky wins, I have to be tater for a week? Yeah, Monday through Friday. Well, I guess you're orange. It'll probably rinse out, but you'll have the tee for even though your hair grows quite fast. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. Okay. You'll have to color it more often. All right. So anyway, that's the wager. Yes, so that is the wager. Are you I, going to the game tomorrow? Kentucky plays South Carolina. No, huge game. No, I'm going to watch it, though. Of I'm going to watch I'm it gonna, as well. I'm not yes. Go there, but yes. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm very excited it's about it. Matter of fact, I think, is that part of our hot topics? I think it is, isn't it? I don't think so. Oh. Um, we do want to talk about something else really quick, just because I like to start the weekend by getting Lee enraged about a topic. So let's get started with our hot topics. Okay. Roll that. Hot Fire. Okay, so as you know, we talk a lot about this kind of new movement, people going away from plastic straws. We told you about how Starbucks is getting rid of them, other companies coming out with metal straws and paper straws and stuff like that. Well, we have been sent this straw by our friends from the Newport Aquarium. Who I love. Yes, we love this is stupid. them. Okay, so they've sent us a rubber straw with a cleaning oh, that's brush. that's what it is. I thought it was a catheter. Yes, the Newport Aquarium is kind of joining this national movement um, of getting rid There's of no plastic. There's no national movement. Of... It's California and now Newport. Okay, yeah, that's it. They have a new mermaid exhibit with real life mermaids oh. who are big advocates of getting we're, rid of plastic straws. We're basing straws, science apparently. on mermaids yes. now. Yes, uh, not only polluting the ocean, also becoming a problem for turtles. Lee. One turtle. One turtle. One turtle got a straw up his nose and people lost their minds. Yes, yeah, so you can purchase uh, rubber straws like this? Is yeah, that I think correct, they, they, they actually have metal straws. They have metal too, straws. Think, too, okay, yeah. okay. I just want to be clear. But this is the example they gave this us. This is the example they gave us. So they sent us, because a big question Lee and I have had when we've had these stories is, how do you clean it? How do you? So they sent us this Why thing. Why would you clean it? That you actually clean it with. Yeah, not me. It's a pipe cleaner. I'm wow, not this doing actually that. It's like a medical procedure. To get in there. 
I'm not doing any of that. I'm going to use my plastic straw and then throw it right down to the sewer when I'm done with it. <laughs> You're horrible. I'm <laughs> no, I'm not going to throw it away properly, but I mean, come on. You can buy these. Who's rollers. going to carry that? Not me. I know you would. I know. I won't. I don't know why you're advocating like I'm the I'm bad guy. I'm not advocating. I'm telling the story. Yeah. I am a journalist. You are no journalist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you, but that's my issue with how are you going to keep this with you all the time? Even the metal straws that they have that come that are collapsible and stuff like that. What are you going to do? Drink off the side of a cup at a public restaurant if you don't bring it with you? I don't mind if there's enough ice in there. I'm no. okay. I'm drinking off the side of a cup now. Don't put that <laughs> nasty thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me clean it. Yeah, with that toilet brush. Yeah, there we clean go. Clean it with that toilet then brush. We can make a children's art project with this. Later. I don't. I don't want cleaner. that thing in my drink. <laughs> anyway, Can't... nobody's using that. It's there we not go. Work. Okie dokie. There we go. A uh, Reddit user shared a picture of his grandfather's visitation with a I still hate Leitner t-shirt on display. Stop it. He Stop says his granddad's it. funeral was yesterday. He was a lifelong fan and wanted to make sure his favorite shirt got put in the casket with him. Several users commented saying they agree with the man's request. He lived in Marshall County. Wow. I'm telling you, big blue fans are crazy. They're crazy. They for stick to eternity, what they... For eternity. They're crazy. For eternity. <laughs> he was... So they actually... It says this UK fan was buried with it. They actually mm -hmm. buried it with him. What is it? Somebody's <laughs> got to bring this to Leitner's <laughs> attention. <laughs> Wowzers. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey. Whatever I you, to, believe, you, know, you believe, you uh, believe. Listen, I got to interview Leitner and... Uh, you did? Yeah. For the uh, for the six-man documentary. Oh, which, right. As I understand it, uh, we're going to be giving those away now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a few left. And we're going to we're going to actually head down to uh, where they're camped out for Big Blue Madness, and we're going to give some free copies away. That's so awesome. So be looking for your free copy there about That's the really six cool. man. But yeah. and part of that was we interviewed Christian Leitner, and he was what actually he? very nice and generous, and I hated it because it was you something wanted him I to be wanted a villain. to hold on to. I wanted him to be a villain, but he played the part as we requested. He played it just like a wrestling professional would. Yes. Of being, he I'm knew who villain. he was. Yes. He knew he was Kentucky's villain, and he was okay with it. Yeah. He's cool with it. Yeah. He's, yeah, okay. Well,